Hello and welcome to our top 10 cross-platform games on the Nintendo Switch. Which games can you play with your friend? Oh, new friend! Friend! Oh, friend! He's my friend! Oh, my friend! Let's get straight into this video. In at number 10 is Mantis Burn Racing. This one can be played on the PC, Xbox One, and of course, the Nintendo Switch. This one offers frantic racing from a top-down view. Yes, Mantis Burn Racing is excellent to play multiplayer against your friends, but what about this tune? Get your glow sticks out, get ready to dance, because the trailer on this one is absolutely fantastic. Gotta let this tune play for a few seconds. Listen to this. Man, if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. I'm in the mood to go raving now, but I've got to get on with the rest of this video. Mantis Burn Racing, I reviewed about a year ago. Check the link above if you want to check out my review on this one. I certainly enjoyed it. Usually you can find this one on sale now quite cheap. So pick it up. If your friends have got it on the PC or Xbox One, then you might want to play with them online. It's certainly better with friends. Moving on to number nine. So it's Riptide GP Renegade, which was published and developed by Vector Unit. I really enjoyed this game at the time, although I have reviewed this one a little while ago. Again, check the link above if you want to see what my thoughts were. But the fact that you could play this against friends on PC or the Xbox One gave this a little bit extra. Unfortunately, the servers seem a little bit dead at this moment in time. But again, if you're looking for a game, you can even play this one in split screen. So it's not always about uh, cross-platform, but the option is there. So this one comes in at number nine. For number eight, let's slow things right down. It's Chess Ultra, which was developed and published by Ripstone, a really great developer. James reviewed this one, so if you're interested in seeing his thoughts, click the link above on this game. This offers cross-platform play with both the PC and the Xbox One again offers some really beautiful visuals and if you're into chess and the strategy that that brings especially playing against other players you can't really be this right now it's fantastic and as I say whenever it offers the option to play with friends on other platforms who may not own the Nintendo Switch then it gives a few more options certainly to play with your friends let's keep the ball moving and move on to number seven now Pinball FX3 doesn't quite fit the mold of the other games because in the other games you can race against each other or actually play in game with each other whereas this one only offers the cross platform in the form of leaderboards but the reason it's on our list is because it's one of those games where you can get a few free tables for free and that's it you will be completely addicted the fact that you can then purchase other tables is great because there's a table to suit everybody's tastes and if you like pinball then this game will have you addicted for days if not weeks I spent the whole of last Christmas, just to give you an idea, addicted to this game. Then the whole family got involved and we're all addicted trying to beat each other's scores. So I think it deserves its place in this top 10 list at number 7. In at number 6 is Ultimate Chicken Horse, which was released a few months ago on the Nintendo Switch and offers cross-platform play with the PC. This has its own narration, so I'll let it play. This is a game designed by two best friends, a horse and a chicken. The rules are simple. Get to the flag. If you can do it, but your friends can't, you get a point. However, the real fun and challenge is built by the players, as everyone takes turns adding new pieces to the level. You must work together to make the level possible, but also against each other to make it hard. You need to set up traps and hazards to screw with your opponents, but avoid them so you don't screw yourself. It's a fine balance between being an awesome level designer and being a huge jerk. This game combines the reckless thrill of cars barreling towards each other in a game of chicken with the smug satisfaction of beating your friends in a round of horse. Add in a dash of intense video game platforming and the engineering prowess of a Rube Goldberg machine and you've just become addicted to the game Ultimate Chicken Horse.
In at number 5 is a game called Hover on the Nintendo Switch, which was released on the 20th of September 2018. The number of players that can play this is up to 16 players. The publisher was Plug-In Digital and it was developed by a fusty game. This is a fast-paced multiplayer Parker game in a futuristic 3D open world. And the beauty of this, of course, is that you can play this against friends on the Xbox One and PC if you so desire. And if you want to see our thoughts on this one, I've linked the review on our website up above it was reviewed by one of our writers Lee so head on over there and take a read if you haven't seen or heard of this one we can certainly recommend you give this one a go especially if you can pick it up on sale in at number four is of course the incredible Minecraft which has been on Nintendo Switch for a little while now you can go out there build amazing things and the only limitation is of course your imagination you can build the humble home all the way up to a castle bridges tunnels whatever you can imagine you can do here and the greatest thing of all is you can do this with a friend and it doesn't have to just be on the Nintendo Switch no your friends can join you from the PC or the Xbox also. So that's fantastic. Certainly one that we recommend because it's a very enjoyable experience. Moving on then to number three is of course Paladins. Now I've cheated a little bit here guys. I will admit that Paladins crossplay anyway with the Nintendo Switch, PC and Xbox isn't available until early 2019, but it is coming. I'm glad it is. It means me and my pals can play cross platform. And this game is fantastic. It's free to download, so you can play it for free. The only things that you get to pay for are the cosmetic items, so it's not a pay-to-win game. And we really enjoyed this one from High res Studios. James reviewed this one. If you want to check out the review, then hit that link above. But if you haven't tried it already, then download Paladins today for free. I really do recommend it because it's a fantastic game to play. Moving on then to number two, and it can only be the one and only Fortnite. Yes, it's the incredibly successful Fortnite. You can download this one for free, and the only thing that you have to pay for if you want to is the cosmetic upgrades, which is great. This is the Battle Royale game where the last man or woman standing out of 100 players wins. You can play this with friends in the same room or around the world. You can even squad up together, so it's well worth a try. Now, the great thing about this one is you can play on the Xbox One with your friends, you can play on PC, and even you you can play on mobile devices. You may have seen a theme running throughout my video and that's in relation to the fact that I've mentioned PC a number of times and Xbox, but I haven't mentioned Sony PS4. Well, on this game, they have opened up cross-play so that you can play with your friends on the Sony PS4. And my question for you guys today is, should Sony open up cross-platform play for more titles? I think this is the way it's going in the future. Everybody wants to be able to play together no matter what console or PC they own. So I think it's a good way to go. That's my personal opinion. What do you ladies and gentlemen think? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. So what is my number one? Let's find out right now. So guys, of course, it's Rocket League. This is one of my favorite competitive games on the Nintendo Switch. The fact that you can play this cross-play on PC and Xbox One on the Nintendo Switch with friends makes it just all the more accessible, especially if your friends don't own a Nintendo Switch. Who knew that playing football or soccer, as our friends like to call it from the US, with cars would be so, so addictive. I've put so many hours into this game and there just seems to be no ceiling on the improvement that you can make you continue to play the better you get and honestly until you put in over a couple of hundred hours i don't think you can call yourself um, a good player it really does take a long time to get good but once you do get there and start scoring goals and passing to your mates to score goals it really feels phenomenal panic button who ported this for psionics have done an incredible job so this is definitely my number one crossplay game that was my top 10 crossplay games on nintendo switch let me know if i've missed any whether you think they should make this list i do want to shout out warframe i really do hope the developers of warframe make crossplay possible at some point in the future that would be great it would mean that more players could play together my name is Juan Romero from Switchwatch. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see my review of Rocket League, then hit the link above. That's it for today. And of course, I'll see you again very soon 
on the next one. Take care.